Hey Virgo, welcome back to House of Virgo. This is Kelly, going to do your love reading for March and see what the energies are playing out for you. If you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below to get a personal reading with me, okay? Please do smash that like, share, and subscribe also. And um, yeah, I greatly appreciate that. Okay, so I mean, I'm shuffling. Obviously, the first two cards flying out here. Camera. Um, that was here yesterday, also representing, um, it felt like the message yesterday is similar to did it today. Somebody looking at your pictures. Um, there's a learning from the past, looking back on the past and memories. Okay. Um, somebody's reminiscing, some old keepsakes, but you also have Chaser. So I feel like somebody, <laughs> Virgo, it looks like... Um, Somebody's looking at your photos or looking at keepsakes of you and um, it's how they're staying close to you, if that makes any sense. Um, because there's this fear of losing you, even if something's already ended, there's someone here that has this fear of um, you being completely gone from their life, okay? And so that's why I feel like they're looking at some either they're they're reminiscing um i don't know it's kind of like holding on to the past or holding on to memories or looking at things that remind them of you keeps you alive in their mind and they're chasing after these dreams and these memories um they're purposefully like with intention looking at these images or photos or things like that it doesn't feel like it it, they're walking down the street and then they just are walking through a store and they see something that triggers a memory. This person is, it feels like chasing these dreams, intentionally trying not to forget, um, trying to keep you, uh, yeah, trying to keep you kind of like close to them. Also have a hand of cards. Um, does kind of feel like this person is not showing their hand, keeping this kind of a secret. But it looks to me like, um, okay, well, let's see. Hmm, that's weird. Hand of cards. Um, this could have something to do with tarot reading. Are they watching tarot readings about you or connecting to something about you that's connected to tarot cards as well or a deck of cards in some way? Um, hmm, hold on a second. I feel like this person here, they're telling me like they're going to take some kind of a chance or a risk. What kind of risk is this? Like chasing after you. What is this? What kind of risk is this? Oh. There's a separation. This person is not sure about the future. It feels like um, in March, this person comes to terms with... Like they may have, like something might be over, something is done, and the risk is like they can't stop thinking about you, they're yearning for you, um, this person is sad and misses you, yeah, and I feel like they're going to take a chance and try to reach out to you in some way, chasing after you, oh my gosh, hmm, okay. Uh, it's sometimes it feels like the messages are always the same <laughs> and then time goes by and it's like okay well that that has not happened maybe it will heart with a key yesterday you had a heart with a lock and no key um, there's definitely a getting together this person yeah, either you think this or they think this but it feels like they believe that they hold the key to your heart and there was this time for healing, for sure, through a separation. And this was all about timing. Um, Virgo, I just feel like whoever this person is, that you and them, where there's a connection between the two of you and then there's a separation, it definitely feels to me like there's this is all a timing event. And I feel like this person's going to, like, they don't like being without you. And it's definitely heavy, a heavy feeling in March. A very heavy feeling in March. All right, let me take a look at you, Virgo. Oh, wow. You've got the Ace of Cups. Okay, so Virgo, 
you know, I feel like you're ready for a potential new start in love or that's something that you're praying or hoping for. I definitely feel like it's coming to you more as like a gift. Let me see what else is going on here. Okay. So you've got the sun. So that's Leo energy. You could have a connection with a Leo. Um, hmm. So the Ace of Cups is new. This is like new, a new beginning. But the Seven of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Virgo, I, I kind of feel like um, give me a second here. Give me a second. Some of you are kind of, it's like you're hoping this person hasn't given up on you. Some of you I definitely, maybe you're still trying to manifest something here that the love, uh, because there's also an energy of some of you are ready for new love as well. Like you are giving up on someone that was deceitful or maybe cheating or something along those lines. Now you have the King of Pentacles. Um, so either this is you where you're trying to manifest a new start in your life here. Or you've got this person coming in, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn in March, who is 100% going to try to manifest something here with you. Um, I really feel it's mostly a message where you're being hopeful and positive that things will work out between you and and them okay um that's the 11 11 we also have the king of swords so there could be a gemini aquarius or a libra attached to this yeah virgo you are i think you know that this person holds the key to your heart but um i don't know what caused a separation or some type of a breakup but I definitely feel like this person is missing you like crazy. They, they're thinking about you. There will be so much so in March. And there's there's definitely, okay, there's a new start. The moon in reverse. This is clarity. No more dreaming. Like, no more dreams. I feel like when the moon is in the reverse, this is always like a message of truth to me. This always means like the truth is revealed and for some of you you get some kind of a message or a spiritual download or a dream that you have that it like reveals to you who your person is and or that this person um and you will be together okay it could be a, a male on male relationship could be a same sex relationship is what i mean to say um and for others it's um heterosexual relationship whichever we don't really look at genders here i just feel like i need to be a little more specific when i say that whatever the situation is though you're very hopeful you're very hopeful and i feel like the hope or the thing that you um, want to have with this person, um, this separation has been necessary for things to turn around, for things to change. Okay, um, let's take a look at this person though and see if we can get more information in regards to them and what's going on with them. Wow, the High Priestess person is definitely reaching out to you through dreams. And the Six of Cups, yeah, this is, oh gosh, this is definitely... This person coming in, very sincere, um, what they hold within, what they keep to themselves is um, that they're very, very sweet on you, Virgo. Very sweet on you, okay? Um, yeah, taking their time, though. This isn't someone that rushes in with love, okay? Cards are just flipping out here. Yeah, this person wants to build. They believe in building very slowly. So you might have been involved with someone that was taking their own sweet time, and then you got maybe you became impatient or you just didn't want to wait because it took too long. Um, I don't feel like that's changed about this person. This That's who they are. Um, they could take years before they finally decide to commit. Look, seven of cups there. A lot of sevens here. Um, what do sevens mean? Spirituality, inner awareness, mastery, wisdom, insight, success. So I feel like for this person, for them, like there's definitely a love here. This person definitely feels something for you. Very strong. Uh, your heart with a lock and they have the key. Definitely. You both go together like two peas in a pod for sure. Um, but I feel like this person, 
yeah they take their time <laughs> they're not spontaneous i don't see that this person takes their time um building they take their time making um to commit they're like one pentacle at a time they bring in the pentacle right and like and then they just slowly brick by brick by brick that's how they commit they don't just I, I don't feel like this person is like someone who stands up on their soapbox and just shouts out to the world they they do come across as being a little bit of a private person um or a loner in a lot of ways okay so here's the fool once they make that decision because i feel like this person though is going to be kind of um inspired to actually be impulsive and take a risk here with you um because there might be some ghosting or this person doesn't know where you are or they're like dreaming about you um they also dream about them themselves what it would be like for them if they were someone who <clears throat> could take a risk to be impulsive i feel like it's so <clears throat> excuse me My, my apologies i feel like it's so out of character for this person to to just um not look before they leap okay um yeah it's a stressful thing <laughs> oh my gosh and when i'm talking about dreams maybe even nightmares <sighs> wow this person stresses so much i just really feel like they lose people because they go at their own pace and and it feels to me like they went at their own pace with you and you like might have waited for a really long time and just decided that you weren't going to wait anymore and if that's the case virgo and you've already come to that decision i mean you know if somebody shows up at your door and they're like finally ready i mean okay fine but i also feel like it shouldn't really take somebody that long to make a decision to commit like yeah like it, how many years let me let me ask how many years was virgo waiting for somebody here to like get their shit together <laughs> how many years okay page of cups oh my gosh how many years was Virgo waiting? Oh. Seven years for some of you? Or seven months? Seven months to seven years. Even for some of you, seven weeks just for them to just decide to be exclusive with you. Whichever the case, it's, you know, the timing that would have been reasonable to actually progress the relationship got stalled, however long it was. And I keep telling you, seven keeps showing up. So there's definitely an energy here of like some kind of awakening that's happening here, some insight. And uh, I definitely feel that's happening here with this person. And I kind of feel like some of you... I'm not gonna lie some of you have been wanting this some of you have been because you really love this person let me see how this person feels about you virgo like besides just oh they love you let me see what their feelings are for you okay well they definitely stalk you virgo they watch you from somewhere somehow there's definitely a watching pay they pay attention to your every move I don't know how don't ask me how some of you're like oh, i've i've just i'm i've died i've fake died I, they can't see me anywhere they're seeing you somehow <laughs> i don't know how they see you if you're not a cunning person if you're not someone who is cunning you'll never be able to figure out how somebody could be cunning to, to be able to see you if you're non-existent or if you're not like if you don't have a thumbprint anywhere if you, because if you if you just think logically and you don't have a cunning mind you can't possibly uh, when i say to you they're watching you it's it's a cunning kind of way and so you might think that you're safe and and i don't mean safe like okay you're in danger i mean you might think that that's not possible but i feel like with the page of swords this is a very cunning um a, a way of looking or seeing someone okay and i feel like um somehow they are watching you they just said perform watching you perform so what does that mean um now the king of wands is here so we're pretty much picking up all the kings except for the king of cups um 
So if the King of Cups is not here at all, which would be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, a good chance it's not that person. And it's the other signs, fire, air, and water. I'm sorry, fire, air, and earth. But somehow they're watching you. Um, okay, I just, all right, they just gave me, they see you at noon. Something that you do at noon, 12 o'clock noon, at the peak of the day. Somehow they see you. Oh, okay, that must be a sign. Hold on, somebody just texted me asking me how are things going. Okay, I don't know who that is. Great, thanks. Um, let me see. Oh, wait, I know who that is. Yeah, so they're watching you at the peak of noon or when you're at a peak. Maybe your peak on a mountain or at your finest, it could mean. Or when you're performing, or it's like at the peak of, of the day, they see you somehow. Okay, that's weird. Let me see. There goes like, I'm not going out on my lunch break. <laughs> I'm staying inside. Well, maybe they're inside. <laughs> okay, three of swords is here. Why? Oh, this person's heartbroken. Yes. They want, oh, they're also looking to see if you have somebody else. Ooh. Yes, 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 yes. They're looking to see if you have a significant other. Is there jealousy? A little bit. A little bit of jealousy. Possessive. Yeah, they're seeking the truth. Ace of Swords. To see if there's somebody else that you're connecting with or if you have an, another opportunity. <laughs> if you've got somebody else or another opportunity. Virgo. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know why I'm having a hard time speaking here, but look, I feel like this person, I feel like they're watching um, mostly to see if, if you've got a significant other, like if you've got somebody else or if you're entertaining another lover. I'm feeling a little energy of jealousy here. I really am with the Page of Swords spying jealousy gossip talking yeah virgo what <laughs> not a lot it's not crazy it's not crazy i just yeah i just feel like this person um uh, why did virgo and this person separate will fortune things changed something changed um hold on a second what is that I'm hearing Time for Me to Fly by Ario Speedwagon. I know, that is such an old song. I've been around for you, been up and down for you, but I just can't seem to... Da -na -na -na. Yeah, okay. Judgment. Somebody made a judgment call. I don't know who this is, but somebody made a judgment call and said, you know what? I'm moving on. Or... or just spirit came down or universe came down and separated you two but something happened uh, hold on because these are like somebody might have reconciled with another person or went back to an ex that might have happened um maybe you left this person and went back oh <sighs> okay five of cups somebody walked away and went back to another person that's what I feel like is, is happening here. But this person, it didn't work out. It didn't work out. Yeah, I feel like this person, they tried to like, I don't know what happened. Hold on. I feel like they went back to another person um, or tried to go back to another person, but that other person didn't want them. <laughs> didn't or didn't want the relationship again. Somebody told them no. Okay, yeah. You know why? Because I feel like there was a connection with someone else. It was strictly physical. Point blank period. It was strictly physical. It could have been somebody that they worked with. Maybe they had a relationship with them prior to you. Um, there was still, somebody was still holding a torch. This person was still holding a torch for another person. And 
Um, I, I just feel like it's an it's an energy of like she wants him and he wants her or he wants her and she wants him I feel like it's that okay but you know what Virgo <clears throat> that's that is what I feel like somebody's story here is the reason for a separation um I, and I do kind of feel like the other person not so much maybe turn them down but basically it was like nah Either they have somebody else or it's just not something that they want. Does that mean that this person is like bouncing all over the place? No. I just feel like this person, a um, little screwy. They couldn't make up their mind. They couldn't make up their mind about what was the proper path. I don't think this person doesn't have feelings for you. And I was asking here. <laughs> I'm going to ask a different set of cards, okay? Because I want to know what is this person's true feelings for Virgo. Okay, yeah, very romantic feelings towards you. Definitely. I mean, there's love here for sure. I think they were caught up or they just couldn't figure their heart out. Their heart wasn't ready. They were still holding on maybe to someone from before. They weren't ready to commit or they were taking it slow. And <clears throat> I, I feel like they got rejected or something happened here, you know. Um, or they still had some, clo they never got closure from another person and went back to get it. It feels like they got it, that's for sure. They got that closure, like that past, their past person isn't, you know, trying to have this situation. Um, some of you might have let this person go because you knew that they need to go figure themselves out <laughs> and set yourselves free. Um, because you could tell that maybe there was something they were still holding a reservation for a previous person or they just weren't um, capable of being with you the way you needed them to be. And so some of you initiated a separation, but it feels like they're coming to terms. You are their true love. You, Virgo, are this person's true love. Like true love. <sighs> Virgo, I feel like it was a timing thing. I feel like this person and you met, they weren't ready. For some of you, the roles could be reversed, but somebody wasn't ready fully to let go of a past person when two people met. And the relationship could not continue because of that. It looks like it's cycling out again with the sevens. Okay. Yeah. New love, true love. So I feel like you were a new love for this person. Or they will be initiating... Um, a new romantic start with you, like a new love start with you. Sure. Um, some of you are okay with it. I, I pick up that energy. Some of you are like, you know, you kind of were like, okay, well, you've got stuff you need to figure out. And, you know, if things change, you know where to find me, that kind of energy for us to be together. Um, you need to sort this out and I'm going to let you go. We're going to separate. And, you know, this person, it feels like they went and tried to sort that out and found, what's the term? F around and fuck around and find out. And I feel like they found out that and the other person was like, no, I'm sorry. Hey, you guys. So um, my video cut off and I kept talking. So let me give you the rest of the messages. Um, there was a whole bunch. Okay. So basically, um, I was asking what their feelings for you are here, here and now, and what the love messages are. Your true love is already part of your life, but you are on different pages, which basically just kind of tells me that wherever the separation was, it's because somebody was not ready. You were both on dif different pages, okay? And I feel like your intuition was telling you that you needed to let a relationship go and to tell this person or if it was you that ended it or eventually came to that, to your senses and said, you know what? There's no sense in trying to make this, you know, stick a round peg into a square hole. It's not going to work. Um, but I do feel like this person is going to come through again, like I said, with the Knight of Cups here, okay? I did feel like that energy is going to play out. This person, I do, and it feels similar to the reading from yesterday, so this might be a continuation of that, but it feels like, you know, to heal the mess, to heal the relationship, to make that love offer, um, to bring peace, a uh, peace of mind, um, 
and recovery after some kind of split, okay, after a feeling of abandonment or being left out in the cold if somebody did that to you. I feel like somebody had to go back to the past and resolve some unfinished business, okay? Um, and here you go. The past returns. There's a new love beginning happening here. Um, very similar to yesterday's reading. And I know a lot of you, like I said, are just not trying to have a past thing back. Well, you don't have to have a past thing back if you don't want that, okay? You definitely don't. Um, I can't control if someone comes back or someone new comes into your life. Um, and I also can't give you a reading on someone new in your life if you don't have anyone new in your life. Now, I will tell you the Chinese signs that showed up here. Year of the tiger, the monkey, the dog, the rat, the goat, the pig, the dragon, and the rooster. Okay? And I went through the... The zodiac signs that are showing up here, Aries, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Aquarius again, okay? So some of you might have connections with those signs. It could be those people um, that you've had a relationship with or there was some kind of a connection with. Also, um, I'm picking up the number 3006, the number 100. Okay, we also have Pisces and Capricorn. And 1999, significant year, also 69, um, the number 63, significant. And as far as September birthdays, August and September birthdays, okay. Hmm. Well, they're just telling me right now, sevens keep showing up in your reading. Sevens, and then there was some sixes as well, but seven is definitely insight and wisdom all around this reading. Okay. So, August 30th, significant day, birth date. Um, <clears throat> 1987, um, 1993, and August, uh, September 7th and 8th, 1988, September 3rd, and September 9th, okay? These are, um, did I say September 8th? I can't remember. Yeah, I think I did. These are very significant. And also the, the charms that came out, and I'm going to have to cut this short because I don't know if I have enough space left on my camera, um, my recording camera. You have two pumpkins. I pulled two pumpkins. Out of the 200 charms that I'm sitting here, I reached in and the charms that came out, two pumpkins, one is silver and one is gold. So pumpkin is very significant for you guys, for somebody here, something to do with either the fall, somebody's birthday might be, well, we know September, but going into the fall, so the end of September, October, November, very significant or something major, a major event in the fall either did or did not happen. It just stands out to me. There's something very significant about pumpkin. Somebody might like pumpkin or pumpkin pie. Um, and I'm also picking up some like Cinderella vibes as well here. And I feel like I said something about Disney yesterday. So something to do with some Cinderella vibes or transformation and change. That's for sure. And wait, wasn't like Prince Charming <laughs> a part of Prince or Princess Charming? Oh, Virgo. I'm, that's a whole other reading right there. And you also have um, a pink kitty, a starfish, and an elephant with a rather huge trunk. So basically, this these came across to me, and they still do, as very uh, phallus symbolic, fellatio type symbols, if you know what I'm saying. Um, very sexual symbols. And I feel like this reading, this person you and this person have a very strong like I feel like this person just can't stop thinking about you that's what came up here like you are always on their mind and I, I, I really feel Virgo like this person mostly they're looking at your pictures or thinking of you it has a lot to do I don't know if you sent some not so PG photos to them or a maybe one or two and don't be all in the chat like I don't do that okay well like all right, fine. Be on your high horse. That's fine. Nobody cares. If you don't, good for you. Somebody might have. Um, and this wouldn't be your message. But <laughs> seriously, I can't take it when people get self-righteous. I can't stand that. I'm just like, shut up. Like, if you are so noble, I mean, <laughs> it's such a like arrogant thing when you say something and try to give like a real life message and be like, 
like, well, I don't do that. Like, that's not me. I don't do that kind of stuff. Okay, that's great. Good for you. We'll give you a little clap. Happy for you that you are perfect. Awesome. Good. What are you doing in here if you're so perfect? Right? Why are you here? Um, because you know what? Nobody's perfect. Nobody's like point blank period, right? Okay, so I don't, I can't stand hypocrisy and I can't stand arrogance in people, honestly. <laughs> Let me not go on into a rant, a rant here. Like, I just can't, you know? I mean, I think it's all right to like say to yourself, well, yeah, that's not really me. That's fine. But to step up on the high horse and tell everybody how you do not do things because you're so mortally, spiritually evolved. I mean, nobody's talking to you right? If, if I'm talking about that, that kind of stuff, and you don't do that stuff, then I'm not talking to you. So you don't need to point it out, okay? Just, you want to be a nun? All for it. You want to be a recluse? All for it. You want to be out, like, running naked through the streets? Do your thing. Nobody's judging. Nobody cares. All right, so yeah, there's a very sexual energy here between you and this person or at least attraction like it's strong and that's all i have to say about that that's all i really except for my rant which i might delete but that's all i have to say about that i don't think there's i i think it's a very beautiful thing and i don't i don't think we should all be prudes <laughs> okay but if you're not sending nude pictures that's fine i don't listen i i certainly I would never tell you to do that, but it's up to everybody. It's up to each and own. I mean, if you're in like a really long-term deep relationship and that's something two people do together, I mean, who's to judge, right? Okay, so I'm going to end your reading because now I'm going to go off onto a rant. I should just make a tarot reading rant. I really should. Um, maybe I'll just delete the comments. Who knows? All right, you guys. So again, personal reading link in the description box below. You know how to get a hold of me. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Gosh, tomorrow's Wednesday. For your um, weekend reading, I will be here. I promise I will do it. And uh, yeah, I will talk to you guys later. All right, bye.